want a really, really long time delay, then this redstone circuit may be for you. That was six seconds. You're probably saying six seconds isn't very long, but for each extra redstone repeater you add to it, you can pretty much double the time it takes to cycle. So this four element one may only be six seconds, but ten elements, that's more than six minutes. Twenty elements, that's more than four days. You can think of this thing as a counter or a pseudo random number generator. If this 4 bit version has 15 different unique states, we can set our decoder here to look for one of those states, and in turn, it will fire off this um, pulse generator, one tick pulse generator which will reset our RS flip-flop down here. This flip-flop is made from two standard pistons and a block of redstone. Set and reset. Now I mentioned the code could be set to anything. Um, so you can pretty much tailor your time delay to anything within the maximum cycle time of this unit. Our delay elements are set to 4 ticks, so we can set this to 0.4 second um, increments. Over here we have an exclusive OR gate and a uh, redstone repeater set to 1 tick. They make the first delay element. Take a close look at the exclusive OR. Don't forget the redstone down in the hole and set your repeaters to one tick. When both of the inputs to this gate are identical, nothing gets outputted, and when they're different, we, our, we energize our redstone. Now, as I mentioned before, um, it's all a matter of just adding extra elements. This 4-bit one has its taps on the third and fourth output. It's a big brother down here, which is 10 elements. Has its taps on the seventh and tenth element. But apart from that, it's pretty much the same beast. So I'm going to leave you with this thing running away. Since it's going to take over six minutes, I'm going to go grab a drink. Thank you for watching.